Hey guys, what's going on? Resortified here, and time and time again, I've been asked by you guys and people in the zombies community, what are the multiple storylines in zombies? What are the universes? And I'm going to simplify that in this video, but before we start, I want to say that this gameplay is part of a sub lobby that I did, and I definitely wanted to show you guys. If you want to hop in a game with me, tweet me at Resortified, or leave your comments in the comment section below, I'll try to get a game with you. So for this video... This is just going to be the basics of the multi multiple storyline, and from that there's a lot more, but this is just the basic, and once you understand a concept like this, you can understand the whole storyline even better. And if you guys want me to do something like this more, I can definitely do it. If you have any uh, questions about the storyline, I might know it. I'll take a crack at it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to explain something. Maybe we can make a series out of this. But... We're going to start with this storyline, and like any theory video or speculation video I have, I have to give you a warning. This is not by the book. There's no book that Treyarch sneakily gave me explaining everything in zombies. It's just the general consensus that we have from everyone in the community, all the facts that we received all the way from Nocturne to, to now. This is just what everyone believes, and I have my own beliefs thrown in. So, I believe that there are three storylines, three universes, that are tied with all each other. And then there's one big thing that you can believe or not believe. The three storylines are the original storyline of Nocturne and Toten, all the way to Buried. The second storyline is Origins to Giant. We're just going to link straight to what we know. The third is a bubble of Mob of the Dead in Shadows of Evil. We're going to put them both in a purgatory bubble. They're right between the two storylines, and they have ties between all three storylines as well. I mean, all three tie in with all three. But we're going to explain the basic straight line of all three. One by one. The tie in that I was speaking of is the Origins cutscene and explains the cuts the storyline as a game. It shows Eddie and Sam playing with zombie toys and explains the storyline as a game and then the actual storyline starts from that moment we didn't get an explanation more than that with the shadows of evil or giant trailer so we're gonna leave that out of the picture you guys can believe that or you can not believe that we don't know anything about that yet that's just a little fact thrown in but we're gonna deal with what we know right now with the maps and pretend that doesn't exist for a little bit let me know what you guys think about that in general there's a lot of um, argument about the cutscene let's dive right into the origin the original storyline excuse me this is the biggest storyline and i believe the origin storyline will compete with it so it starts off with nocturne toten in world at war nocturne toten verrucht shino and darice are not set in that order for storyline because darice is where the zombies outbreak starts and shino has a lot of tie into it and verrucht and noct has a lot of tie into it but that's the order we got the map so i'm going to explain it with these four it starts the zombie storyline, it starts Samantha taking control of the zombies because of the entrapment by Richtofen, trapping Maxis and Samantha. Samantha now has control of the uh, zombies, teleportation has now started and that is what creates the zombies through 115 and this is the beginning of the storyline. Black Ops 1 sets Richtofen's plan. From Kino to Toten to 5 to Ascension is the basics of Black Ops 1, and that, that's when Richtofen's plan really starts. In Call of the Dead, he gets the Golden Rod, Shangri-La, he gets the Meteor, and in Moon, he finally does his plan and takes control of the zombies. He switches bodies with Samantha and takes control of the zombies, but he does not have full power yet. And at the same time as Moon, Nuketown Zombies is taking place, and if you remember, at round 25 on Nuketown, that's when the switch happens between Sam and Richtofen, so it's happening at the same exact time as Moon. That is the Black Ops 1 storyline. Now, in Black Ops 2, after the events at Moon, the events at Moon being Richtofen obviously can take control of the zombies, and then Maxis blowing up the Earth, the start of blowing up the Earth. He sends some rockets and it blows some parts of the Earth. Now, in Black Ops 2, we get a new crew, and they are controlled they are not specifically controlled, but the zombies are controlled by Richtofen, and that plays a huge part in the storyline. Now, there are two outcomes to the end of this storyline. 
The first outcome being the Maxis Easter Eggs. Maxis takes full control of the Aether, he dams Richtoff into the body of a zombie, and he just floats around the different zombies, and Richtofen is trapped forever, and Richtof uh, Maxis' final goal is to destroy the Earth and all remnants of 935 who has wronged him throughout the years. Now, if you follow the Richtoff inside of the Easter egg, he now fully controls the Aether. He dams Samantha to Agartha, and Maxis ceases to exist. Richtofen now has full control, and he decides whatever he has in mind for his plan, he's going to do in the physical world. He takes control of Stuhlinger, and after that, he is done with that storyline. That's as far as we got with the uh, original storyline, and we don't know much about it yet uh, besides the tie-in with the other Soria. The second storyline is Origins. The Origins storyline starts similar to the original storyline with the four original characters, but it's a lot less gruesome. So the original four meet up in this new location in France instead of being in Doris, and they work together to do Samantha's Easter egg. And once they complete this easter egg, Samantha gives them the power to teleport, to go between the universes, and Richtofen uses this uh, opportunity to change the other storylines. His mission is to change his other storyline being the original storyline, and he goes to other parts in the map, like he goes to Mob of the Dead, Shadows of the Evil, but straight connection, he goes to the Giant, which we will be able to play with Black Ops 3, and he changes the Doris storyline. So this is a little, this is exactly like Doris, but it is Doris if the original storyline didn't happen. So what I hope with this storyline is that it kind of goes a similar direction, but it's Richtofen's new plan to change everything that happened. So it'll be interesting to see where this led, but with Origins, the new Richtofen goes between all the different maps and it's crazy to think about. We don't have an explanation of everything he's gone through, but we have proof that he has at least gone to Mob of the Dead and to Reese, so it's crazy to see where that will end up. The third storyline is the bubble that I'm shoving Shadows of Evil and Mob of the Dead in. They're connected to both the other universes, but there's not a direct connection. There's not, we started at Mob of the Dead and went to Shadows of Evil. No, they're two different character sets, two different storylines, but it connects all the universes. So I put them in a little bubble by themselves that both the universes are connected. In Mob of the Dead, it has the four characters. You break the cycle of Purgatory and they all go to their separate heaven or hell. In Shadows of uh, Evil, it's gonna be a similar kind of concept where the four characters have committed various sins in their lives and they have to overcome them or fight against the Shadow Man. We don't know the actual concept of the map, but it is very similar to Mob of the Dead. So those are the three storylines that everyone believes in that I believe in as well. I hope that gave a basic concept of the universe or the universes and uh, helped you understand the rest of the storyline. Thank you guys for watching all the way till the end. It means a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and leave in the comments what you want me to explain next, what else videos you want me to have, anything that you would like me to know in the comments. I reply to everyone. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It helps me and it shows your support. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button while you're over there in the description. And stay tuned for more videos for zombies. Peace. Thank you.